Hey guys, it's Ryan Ho back with another video. Today I want to talk about my experience from upgrading from DaVinci Resolve free version to DaVinci Resolve Studio, which is the paid version for like $300. And kind of the reasons why I upgraded. And then I'm going to talk about like rendering speeds and stuff you can expect to be faster. So I think one of the main reasons why I upgraded was because I was having like scrubbing through my timeline issues. So basically, you're cutting different clips, you jump from one to another to another, it would take like five to 10 seconds to load every single time I clicked on a different segment of my timeline. And that was getting like really annoying. And I know that if you upgraded, you can use hardware accelerations to decode like H.264 and H.265 codecs for what basically most of the videos are in. And that would help me significantly in just editing and speed of editing and just being less annoyed overall when I'm editing. And then the second reason is also just faster rendering speeds. So my old workflow was basically taking my DaVinci Resolve timeline, exporting it to go sign form, and then taking that and then compressing it using Handbrake into H.265 using InVink. And that whole process took, I would say about depending how long it was, the timeline was, it would take like 30 minutes, sometimes it would take like 20 minutes. But then now using NVENC, I'm able to just basically finish rendering my timeline and then render it out to H.265 and then upload that to YouTube. And that is kind of like a lot faster for me. So getting better rendering speed is the second reason. And then like the third reason is just all those other features you get when you get to the studio. So it's like noise reduction, there's like face tracking, editing. So I'm going to show some rendering tests for you guys now, showing you the stuff I ran and seeing what you can expect if you upgraded from free to studio version. So stay tuned. All right, guys. So this is the DaVinci Resolve Studio, the paid version. So the first thing you want to check is actually your DaVinci Resolve preferences. When you go to preferences, you want to go to memory and GPU. Make sure your GPU processing CUDA is on. And then you can choose your GPU or you can do auto. But if you only have one, it's going to be it. But I just did manual and chose my RTX 2080. And then when you go to uh, decode options, you want to make sure you have H.264 and H.265 using hardware acceleration NVIDIA. So this is one of the benefits of upgrading. You can use this acceleration to help you scrub through your timeline and play your videos better and faster. So now we look at our rendering test. So if you look above right here, it's seven minutes, 45 seconds. This is when I rendered H.264 native, but this was when I had the free version and it took seven minutes and 45 seconds, 45 seconds. But then down here in job four, this is when I had the studio paid version and render it and it somehow was a minute and like 10 seconds faster. So it's very interesting just to take a note of that. Even if you're using CPU rendering the same way, they use like a different encoding system or something and it's faster. And then now the job two and job three tests was when I basically did QuickTime H.264 encoder, changed the NVIDIA using the NVENC encoder that's inside your graphics card and that dropped my rendering times from 745 or you can say 636 down to 133 so that's the five minutes of savings right there roughly and then this is the second test which i did instead of h.264 i used a more higher compressed version h.265 and it was still maybe 10 seconds slower but it's way faster than using just your cpu and rendering it out so these are some of the gains you guys can expect to see if you guys go in and upgrade and of course they're just scrubbing through your timeline i can't really show it here because well it's pretty much fast no matter it comes what to the app and like customizing your settings but, when, when it comes to sound marketing yeah it's Save. like instantaneous right now but that's probably because i already rendered out my video but yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed the video um please like subscribe down below if you haven't it really helps me out and it really helps me grow and then i'll see you guys next time Bye bye